New at 6, a group in Amherst is calling for the resignation of the town manager, citing the distribution of ARPA funds has been inequitable. I spoke to this group today and heard why they think black-owned businesses are being overlooked. Take a look. We feel invisible, we feel disrespected, we feel discriminated against. Members of the Black Business Association of Amherst area coming together today to speak up about what they say is an unjust distribution of ARPA funds. I am calling on our town manager, Bob Bachmer, to resign immediately for corruption. Bockelman presented an ARPA funding update at a meeting this week. The town was given $11.9 million in ARPA funds. 9.8 has been distributed. According to data on the town's website, a total of $419,000 was allocated for grants and economic development. 300,000 of that was given to one downtown venue, the Drake. Seven BIPOC small businesses were given grants. I reached out to Bockelman to get some insight on how the funds were distributed and was told he was unavailable for comment. I also reached out to members of the town council and did not hear back. Calls to the Amherst Area Chamber of Commerce and Amherst Business Improvement District were also not returned. Bill Nert is a biracial business owner. He did not apply for ARPA funds, but has had a good experience working with the town. This community is uh, super accepting of, you know, people from everywhere, especially, you know, the students and, you know, the colleges, you know, it wouldn't be beneficial for them to, you know, come at it with that mentality. At the BBAAA meeting today, we spoke with two business owners who applied for and were not given ARPA money. And I was, you know, confused, you know, and I said, this is really unfair and, you know. and, and what did they say when you brought these concerns to their attention? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> there was no response after Members of the BBAAA are urging Bockelman to reconsider the ARPA spending strategy. And designate some of this to go toward black businesses for, as part of the economic recovery. And members of the BBAAA say they will continue their push for a more fair distribution of these funds.